People often ask me, what am I doing by keeping spiders, insects and other such creatures? Why choose them over traditional pets, dogs and cats? Sorry to say, I don't have one answer for this, but I have many. Popular invertebrate choices such as spiders, centipedes and insects come down to four reasons. These reasons are vital when considering what pet is best for you. First, maintenance. What if I go out for a day or more? What about my animals? Dogs require attention 24-7 and are not an optimal choice for one who has an uncertain schedule. The most popular choices for pets are high maintenance, but that's not the case for inverts. I went on a two-week holiday to India and left the creatureverse in its current state. After that, every single creature was alive. I feed my huntsmen once a week and this is the case because spiders do not require much food. Snails might need to be fed more times a week, but not in multiple meals. The upkeep is also minimal. The microorganisms in the respective enclosures of my invertebrates take care of waste and watering is done once a fortnight. This also means that less money is spent on their upkeep and purchase. Ask any dog owner, they'll tell you how much of a financial burden their pet is. Since less food and supplies are needed, you'll just end up spending pocket change to maintain a whole collection. The source of getting your invert can either be a purchase from a pet store or the wilderness for free. Financially, all is well. Invertebrates also do not require human attention and you must keep this in mind when considering them as pet options. They are observation animals like fish and interaction must be kept at a minimum. There is no benefit gained from it and it often distresses them out. You have exceptions such as octopuses which can die of boredom but this is why they aren't a popular invertebrate choice. If you do want something to interact with you, then inverts aren't the right pets for you. The final reason comes down to my favorite aspect, space. There was a time when the entire creatureverse took up the area of two trays. For many, all you need is a jar, a shelf or desk, and decor. And no, these aren't cramped conditions. Inverts such as spiders do not require much space as they are mostly stationary. Living underneath a bark is adequate for most. In fact, too much space can stress it out. And this is how you can build a larger collection even if your space is small. No compromises are made for your pets. Obviously, independent research must be conducted for the invert you want to consider getting. This video is a generalized statement. Not everyone wants this kind of pet. And that's okay. At least now you could tell a dog owner what it is like to have a non-taxing pet. I hope you guys learned something new from this video. If you want to see more invertebrate content, subscribing helps you stay notified. This is ABSE signing out. Take care and goodbye.